So the other day I was pounding my face against the wall for fun. Grind. Grind. And I realized something. Latvia is not that bad. So I was thinking, Latvia has been a country, uh, again that is, for two more years than I've been alive. Now, also being a gamer, I was curious what games had actually been featuring this underage alcoholism bootleg flea market cigarette ridden homeland of mine. So I grabbed a pack of Semkas. Black or my grouse me a suit? Aha! Alright, there we go. And a pickle. <laughs> Perfection! Turned on my trusty horse ripper. And. Oh shit! I forgot something very important. Class! Hold on! Well, this is Riga. A rather sunny and wonderful day. Oh, off for class. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, so that's a good class there, actually. Let's see. That's something to be worth paying for. Well, anyways. So yeah, Latvian Cross, probably one of the best. And for full gaming and editing pleasure... Yeah, some Cross! And get ready to search the Google for any traces of Latvia being in games. SHIT! Okay, so let's start with a little preempt about the video. No, first of all, I'm not including any fucking sports games, cause fuck Konami and fuck EA. Not giving those soulless bastards any go. Also, I'm not including any games that have small details of Latvia, like Civ 5 with the Riga State or something like that, so... Uh, wait, I, I included that. Ah, well, never mind that. Now, the first and the oldest game that I could find with uh, any kind of a Latvian level is... Uh, no! No, it's not the game over screen. Even though sometimes Latvia does feel like it. <clears throat> no, no, the mythical sewage dump that is Latvia was a fighting ground for players of old Command and Conquer back in 1995. Now, back in those prehistoric times, Yamix was still two years old. And only now came to terms of the fact that he had a penis. Frankly, I didn't know that my favorite RTS series actually took place in the toxic wasteland of hipster Neo Babushkas and overqualified teen workforce. But after playing through the thing, Okay, well, let's see then. The map of Europe. Uh, what? Is that Latvia? What the fuck? Yeah, music for Latvia there. Yeah, no lap, it might as well up for Swiss man bars. And now we wait for more Tiberium. Great. Yamix doesn't know how to play even in his own country, damn it. Mirsti, might a Mirsti! It's pretty much what you expect nowadays in the capital city anyways. Full of orlas and different kinds of brown stuff. Then the next thing on my list is... Oh, fuck. <laughs> Skip all this, God's but do I show it? You know what? What little enjoyment I might have crashing and burning into a nearby Latvian swamp. If I include this, I might as well include Google Earth. So, yes, the flight sims are out there with Latvian what else in it, but moving on. Ah yes, I never played the original Ghost Recon, so this somehow flew under my radar. But indeed, one of the missions in this game is located in Latvia, uh, somewhere nearby Riga. Your mission is to blow the bridge where the Riga Highway crosses the Lubana River. This is my team, and this is Latvia near the border. Well, it's foggy as shit, so that's about right. Not I merely kustas, kustas, aida! Oh my god, playing this thing is horrible. <laughs> I'd say so. Oh god damn it, what the fuck was that? Okay, try number two. Um eh, same strategy. Oh come on! Okay, who's alive? Shit, everyone's dead. Die! Can I teabag you? Yeah. Let's do some proper proper teabagging. Carrying on. Hopefully that's not a war crime. You know, it's kind of funny. According to a few sources that I have, Latvia has something like four tanks in its disposal. And I think this is it. Hoppa, like a Migors pilot I stole by Saklais Meglis. I wish must love man. Well, this has to be the world's most pathetic tank. And, oh god damn it. Well, the world's most pathetic tank just killed me. Fuck. 
Then moving on, if planes are too boring for me, then what kind of a weirdo am I that I now like trucking simulators? Indeed, the Euro Truck Simulator 2 does feature Baltics in one of its DLCs, so you can have some good old time transporting some bootleg cigarettes, bootleg Adidas and bootleg memes into and throughout Latvia and onto the nearby countries. I mean seriously, how else would our brothers and sisters in Estonia and Lithuania educate their young? Wait, 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 I spy with my little eye some discrepancies here. I right, have some of those too. But most importantly, we have this. And this right here is the Ref Culture Center. Quite a bit different now, isn't it? Quite a different one, but you can actually see where I stood when I filmed all that. I probably should mention that the last time I actually drove was when I actually got my license to drive. And uh, that was, uh, give or take, about seven years ago. And uh, there's no Linux? So I'm definitely fine at driving, right? 80 kilometer restriction in this zone. Okay. Everything's gonna be fine. Ah, it's a turn. Oh, God! What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> well, um... Hey, hey! How stupid does Polygoblet? Pimpies! Kinda stuck right here. Well, maybe I can cancel the job. Warning! You cannot cancel your first job. Nobody would respect you after that. You know what? Respect is the last thing I would be thinking about right now. Oh, fuck you. Now you notice me. Oh, god damn it. Latvian trucker road rules. There we go. Red light. Fuck that. Blip it, man. Then you can poly that null with a pimpouch. I, I felt nothing. That totally felt nothing. Ah, for me, no pressure. What do you thought this was? What's the hell? I am praised, Petrus. But seriously, this is spring. It's the usual shit here. Mostly because alongside snow, asphalt melts as well. And I'm not really kidding about that. Another roundabout? Nah, just cut through it, I think. No, gods, what the fuck? No, no. You got. Dodge him. Oi, Zhenya, that's Poliga. Paskat, there's no way to take more shit out of that. Sven's not taking shit away. Pane him lauzes in the cold way. When he passes Sven's little lauzes. Pohu, that's Poliga, never stow it. Bald gabastas. Then, next, we have a few different games that are pretty much the same thing, rehashed by the same developer. Crusader Kings, here you have the mythical and magical place called Latveria. Uh, whoops, I mean Livonia. The pre shashlik and pre quas days of Latvia. Seriously, in this game you play as a complete miserable piece of shit due to lack of exactly those things. And just thinking about it makes me want to drink. Where's my quas? Then we have Hearts of Iron 4, where you can play as Latvia and conquer the world as it should be. Just, you know, watch out for those Ruskies over there. Actually, as a matter of fact, a fellow content creator by the name of Toyor made a video showcasing how to do that exactly. So I'll link that video in the description. And finally, of course, Europe Universalis. Just like Hearts of Iron, it also lets you play as the Great Latvian Empire. It's actually quite interesting that the developers, the Paradox Interactive, made these games each spanning a separate timeline. So if you're a history buff and enjoy strategy games, probably one of these games will be perfect for you. For me, personally, I'd go with Hearts of Iron. And so that, that would just leave us with one last game, at least for the time being. 1637 hours, police, headquarters, Ventspils, Latvia. This game actually is quite unique in its own right. Counter-Strike Condition Zero. To this day, this is the only Counter-Strike game with a single-player campaign, and it's a pretty fun one too. Uh, come on! Oh, for I can't enter the fucking door! Alright, let's try again. Oh my god, what is wrong with me? Okay, frankly, when it came out, yes, I even remember when it came out myself. Please, please, please step inside, sir. Please, 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 please step inside. Please, please, please step inside. Please, please, step. Please, 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 please
And sure, it was basically a 1.63 skin, but in the age where there were not many reskins to begin with, it was pretty cool in its own as well. But what made this game even cooler was that one of the later missions took place in Ventspils. Granted, it was a pretty crappy stealth mission. Hey, you got the light? Nope. You sure? Yup. I saw you light the cigarette outside. Wasn't me. Of course it was. I've known you for six years. Look, I am tired of losing my lighter. Go ask somebody else. Hmm. See if I loan you any smokes next time you're out. He you needs cigarettes? Okay. Is Gopnik coming? Yes, the Gopnik is going. Psst, psst, Peter! But not shoot! Who is this? Oh, God damn it! Я могу поклясться, я что-то слышал. Я что-то Ну хорошо. Ну хорошо. Absolutely. My hands are freezing. I hope nobody tries to get in this place. I don't think I could pull the trigger with these fingers. No problem. We could always throw icicles at an intruder. <laughs> hey, 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 you laugh. But that's a valid tactic in winter for Latvians too, you know? You use whatever means you have to kill your fellow man. And hey, pisticles work too, you know? Oh! Oh, Paskat! Paskat Kaspadzarai. Now this is a proper fucking Gopnik, eh? I could probably piss in one of them, right? And he wouldn't notice the difference. Ugunt Izea. Okay, seems seems about right. Now we turn off the power. Latvian Well, at least they know how to spell Latvian. <laughs> it should be written Augsta Voltage, not Augsts Voltage. But hey, is Americans making this game? So I I don't begrudge them for not knowing a language. Oh, we got weapons. Open up! I want guns! Oh, oh! Here we see Zhenya, Igor, and my guns. Probably getting ready to fuck Igor. Three idiots, one barracks. Bla! Viens no diviem tankiem, kas mums ir. Itas pats atnāt. That tank shouldn't be able to drive and shoot at the same time. That's how I know this is complete fiction. Cold water. My willy is shrieking. Oh gods, my penis. Oh my gods, my penis. Oh my gods, my penis is shrinking. The cold water. Still, who cares? You also get to shoot bazooka at some ruskies. Fuck yeah, this is Latvia. <laughs> okay. Ah, fuck no. Labiri rocket. Okay, have you heard of Latvian space program? So yeah, it's a pretty cool thing to revisit once in a while, which I do. I've got hostiles. I've got hostiles. Is the dad bot just teabag that Russian? Check for all. star. Uh. Is that is that a pistol or is that your dick? I don't know which one, but either way, die. Oh, bleh. <laughs> and remember, this this was Counter Strike, and it happened in Latvia. By the way, this church is in Ventspils. But in the end, that's all I pretty much could find on my own. Of course, I do realize I might have uh, missed a few details here and there. So if you want to be a nitpicky piece of shit, well, do let me know down below. But seriously, I do want to see my neighborhood on fire. Uh, I mean, my neighborhood being featured in a game. Uh, that, that definitely what I meant. So, if you have found something interesting, do let me know down below. But anyways, if you do want to enjoy the great experience of being a Latvian, feel free to hunt those games down too. If you too want to get a little bit more acquainted with the prospect of eating horse meat, sausage, pickles, semkas, kwas, and avoiding large mobs of urlas at night. But really, that would conclude Yamix's attempt at cultural education. And actually, now that I think of it, I hunger some kwas! And here we see a usual Monday morning in uh, Latvia. Oh god damn it! Die! Yeah. 
That's the level designer's mark, right there. Isn't it interesting, huh? No, but seriously, folks, remember to drive safely and responsibly. I'm gonna I'm move here. Of course, we're not showing... Maniac! Dick! Mm. Okay, here we go. Roundabouts. Perfect. Hey, Kami! Such thing as brakes don't. I'll, uh, oh, crap. Alright, <laughs> 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 so I kind of need to. Caravan Maniac! I'm just gonna take a shortcut here. Yep, screw the rules. I've got truck. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is just so funny every time. <laughs>